When I was a kid, my parents would often tell me to get outside and enjoy the weather. Partially for my own good, but probably to also give them some breathing room. Either way, I always found something to entertain myself with. Routinely turning over rocks to inspect for insects and slugs, or clambering up trees to gain a different perspective of my surroundings. And given that, I guess it's no surprise that exploration is one of my treasured pastimes in video games. But it wasn't until I played Tomb Raider that I discovered how gratifying it could be. Especially when paired with rewarding sound effects or atmospheric music to coincide with my cat-like curiosity. Tomb Raider released for the Sega Saturn and PlayStation in 1996, and it was one of the first next-generation games where you get to play as a female protagonist, an archaeological action-adventurer Lara Croft, whose design was loosely influenced by the likes of Indiana Jones, Tank Girl, and the John Woo film Hard Boiled. The premise revolves around Lara being hired to find an artifact, which sends us on a spelunking experience intermingled with rival treasure hunters, feral inhabitants, and platforming, puzzle-solving wonders. Personally, I found the plot to be more of a background piece to the exploration of buried tombs and dramatically spacious caverns. Not that I didn't find the story to be intriguing, in that mysterious, what's really going on here sort of way, and that plays well into the whole cave delving aspect of Lara's personality. But what really kept me enthralled was the cinematic delivery of gratification for exploration. Atmospheric music that builds on the suspense of your probing determination followed by a satisfying sound effect uh -huh. to punctuate your discovery, or, perchance, an ancient guardian that would spark an internal feeling of fight or flight. I can't say for sure, but I feel like Tomb Raider was one of the first games I experienced that introduced me to atmospheric storytelling. There is a severe lack of music throughout the first title in the series, which I imagine was done with purpose. The majority of the time, all you're listening to is a lonely wind that echoes from the walls, and your footsteps crunching with reverberations. There are no quest markers, and no radio interference influencing you to a direct path. It's just you and Lara traversing the crackling shale and dust-covered tombs of lost antiquities, accent by a pleasant melody of discoveries, and the Tomb Raider theme fading in to extricate those pent-up feelings of suspense and apply a sense of wonder and relief. However, that doesn't mean that you're necessarily alone. A quiet expedition can quickly turn into a fight for your life, made all the more heart-pumping when coupled with the track St. Francis Folly. Nathan McCree is the composer for the original Tomb Raider soundtrack, and I think it's a masterpiece, especially considering that this was all done with synthesizers, due to the lack of space and budget at the time. Even with gorgeous musical arrangements and delightful cues, it wouldn't have mattered if you could just find all the secrets and solve all the puzzles while treading a linear path with no real sense of discovery. I remember a quote from somewhere that states, nothing in this world that's worth having comes easy. Now, Granted, that is a little dramatic for a video game, but if we take that with a grain of salt here, I can agree. The struggle of timing your leaps to a far platform, 
getting your camera in just the right angle to notice a ledge or gap in the wall that you had previously missed, which, given the graphics at the time, was an easy thing to do. Failing over and over again to find that aha moment, and when you finally do, it feels like sweet, sweet victory. With everything put together, Tomb Raider showcased the capabilities of gratifying the player for exploration, and it left a mark on me that bled into my future of gaming enjoyment. By no means am I a completionist, but if I see a nook or cranny, you can bet that I'm finding a way over to it, just in case there's a bobble or scenic view to take in much like my childhood of turning over stones and climbing trees.